Hey guys, it's Grace and Eric from the Dareless family. This week, we travelled from Harvey Bay to the Sunshine Coast, one of our favourite places. We're back here again and it's good to be back. Yeah, it is. Uh, as soon as we got here, we decided let's get straight out into nature. So here's what we got up to. Can you get started? Yeah. I'm going to need the chair. Oh, can you just sit down next to me? I haven't got a chair here, sweetie, because it's not at home. We're out. You can stand up and eat. How cool is that? Even better. We're about to walk a mountain in the Glasshouse Mountains called Mount Nunu. And we're just having our breakfast first, yeah? Put this down. Want to see something special? Yeah. Want an almond? <laughs> How good is that? Half of the walk up Nunu Mountain was in the shade. We've just come out halfway up, I think, and it's all sunny. Ah, starting to feel it. Leo's yeah, working hard. It's uh, 8:21 a.m. Didn't really get out as early as we would have liked, uh, and it's a 45-minute drive from where we're staying to the Glasshouse Mountains. But pretty good effort to be out earlier in the morning and doing a walk like this. Can't wait to get to the top. I think it's gonna be really beautiful. It's gonna be epic. Woo! Epic. Let's get back down the hill. That was easy. Let's go. <laughs> so that was an incredible walk going up the top of the mountain. But if you want to have a bit of a laugh, rewind about 30 seconds and have a look at Grace sitting on top of the mountain. <laughs> and <laughs> there's this guy yeah. with no shirt on, totally oblivious to the fact that we were droning around doing like this epic shot around Grace. <laughs> and he sits yeah. right next to Grace and Leo. It is hilarious. Yeah, and everyone's up there to enjoy themselves, but it was pretty damn funny that he, like, totally photobombed our photo, just, like, you know, naked from the waist up, lounging on a rock. <laughs> it was the best. <laughs> About 30 seconds later, I landed, and he was like, oh, I thought that was, like, a swarm of bees or something. <laughs> About the drone. I was like, oh, dude, you got no idea. Yeah, that was so pretty funny. It was pretty funny. funny. Yeah. But, you know, this is, we're filming in public. This is what happens. Yeah, we just thought it was funny so, more than anything. <laughs> it was great. So after that, we were then looking for some epic drone shots in and around the National Park. 
Yeah, so the way that we um, sometimes find drone shots is we hop on Instagram and look at geotagging and find out what other people have taken in a location just to give us a few ideas if it's a new location or if it's a really big national park just so we can go to the best spots, especially when you've got a kid you don't want to waste your time driving around in circles. And the night before we went on this sh- um, this big you know drone shoot that we were trying to do, um, I had got online and I was looking at everything I could find on the national park and I couldn't find any Google Street View. So I ended up looking at a really long description basically of an extreme ultra marathon that explained in a description every single road in the park and like what to look for as you were running so that you didn't get lost on this run. And I was using that to try and find landmarks within the park so that we could shoot our drone footage. So basically, you just have to be a bit creative when you're looking for drone footage. You have to plan in advance, but it paid off and we were on our way to see if we could get the shot. We're on the hunt to find some good drone photo and video opportunities. Going off road to get the good shots. It's a risk it to get the biscuit, they say. Risk it to get the biscuit. But that's not quite what happened, unfortunately. Eric, do you want to tell the story? Yeah. So we wanted to get this epic shot on top of the roof of our car and I lined up the drone to basically fly over us over onto a mountain um, and then it was really hot so I wanted to take my shirt off <laughs> and, uh, and I left Leo with Grace but Grace didn't know that because we were just doing things on the fly and all of a sudden Leo just grabs the drone controller, flicks it to the left and boom, we go into the tree. By the time we turn around, the drone's halfway down the tree, (laughs) falling out of the tree. And uh, and so I run over to grab it and check it. Fearing the worst, given if you've seen our videos from Malaysia, you will know that we we crashed it there. Um, So that kind of put us out for a few months without a drone. But um, fortunately, this time, somehow, miraculously, it fell from whatever that is, maybe 10 meters, and uh, it still worked. So this is us sort of flying around afterwards, making sure it all works, and yes, it's uh, it's still all okay. Yeah, I don't know how. I mean, Leo was so upset. He was so sad that he broke Daddy's drone. It's an interesting point because I think that when I was a kid, I remember really clearly my dad buying our first video camera. And I think that we were all really kind of reverent as kids, like, oh, my goodness, this is an incredible piece of technology. We need to look after it. Mm. And I do wonder, with these young kids, these millennial kids that are are being born into families where they own drones and iPads and iPhones and DSLRs and GoPros, I just Mm. wonder, like, um, what the impact of that is. And we're really conscious of it. And we just, yeah, we really want Leo to understand that technology is still a privilege. It's not a given Mm. and it's not something that he'll always have um, if he doesn't look after it. So, yeah. yeah, hard lesson. He learned it, and luckily our, our our drone is all good, still flying to this day. Phew. Woo. Oh, and we also stumbled across Australasia's largest stash, hidden stash, of dragon fruit. We have not been able to find dragon fruit anywhere, and we were so stoked to find it on our road trip. Yes! We're a little bit excited because we just found a road stall, road sign stall, with dragon fruit, which are like our favorite fruit ever. Nature's ice cream. Check this out stuff is the bomb. those babies. Yeah. So we're going to get some. They are looking mighty fine. They're $3 each. Do you guys reckon we should get 10? Spend $30 on fruit in one roadside stall stop. No. Ten. We're getting 10. We're gonna do it, let's get 10. <laughs> we just got addicted to them in Bali, and so now first time we've seen them in Australia fresh. And red. And red. Do it. Make this happen. <laughs> the guy's gonna come out and be like, who stole all my dragon fruits? <laughs> but then he'll find 30 bucks. Yes. Quick. 30 bucks well spent. Let's go show Leo. Let's do it. What's that, buddy? Remember what that is? A big volcano. Can you say dragon fruit? 
That's it, dragon fruit. Do you remember dragon fruit? You love dragon fruit. Maybe you forget now. Dragon it's been almost a year, hey? Dragon fruit. Yes. Dragon fruit. I think yummy, yummy dragon fruit. Is it yummy? Mine's almost gone. Yum. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. right, good. <laughs> when I'm driving, for some reason on the Sunshine Coast, I can't get my bearings right. I get lost all the time. Every road looks the same. Yeah. Every roundabout looks the same. There's like a million slipways onto a million different highways and yeah. Yeah, but sometimes it works to our favor. So I just took the wrong turn. We got lost and ended up at a giant pineapple. The big pineapple. The big pineapple. Australia is famous for big stuff. We've seen a lot of it where we're from in New South Wales. There's a lot of big stuff. And I think I've been to this one when I was like nine before. Let's go check it out. Hey Leo, we just realized something cool. What's on your shirt? There's a pineapple. You happen to have pineapples on it. Yay! Just in time for the big pineapple. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching this week's video. We are always so grateful for everyone who tunes in and shares our journey with us and we're really excited to bring more cool stuff. We've got an awesome dare coming up and we can't wait to share it with you. We're shooting it this week so keep your eyes peeled for that one. If you like this video make sure you hit like below and subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, we'd love to have you following along as we continue on this journey and we will see you in the next video. That's right. Do you know that you are wrong?